this is one of the classics for you, and because it, it's so important, is it's important in a crisis to respond positively. You need to take one day, or one hour, or possibly even one minute at a time. Yeah. Are you sure you, that's the book? I'm, I see it in some of our training manuals. It's all over the place because it's so true. Yeah, it is. It is. And, you know, one of the things that we've learned about helping people in crisis, and including ourselves at times for sure, is that we can't get too far ahead of ourselves, and yet it's so easy, just with our anxiety and our fearfulness, um, to get start getting scared and worried and anticipating all, all the... what-ifs all the negative what ifs. Yes. And once that happens, it's a good way to really scare yourself and create some real panic and anxiety. Um, it doesn't help anything. It's not normal planning at all. Um, what we're really talking about is the logistics of just getting through. We're not talking about the big philosophical picture now. It's, well, how do you get through your, a crisis on a daily, momentary, hourly basis? And that is just how you do it. Don't get ahead of yourself. If you find yourself, I know if I find myself doing that, I bring myself back and go, uh-uh. You don't know what the future holds. You don't know what tomorrow will hold. Stick it, stay in the present, and just take it one step at a time and just deal with things one. It can be one minute. It can be one hour. I know at times that people will say, how are you doing how today? And I'll go, well, I can tell you how I'm doing this hour. Mm -hmm. um, and so really... That's a good way to prevent anxiety buildup and fearfulness. Um, to stay in the, bring yourself back, stay focused. One moment, one hour, one, just don't get ahead. And you'll see that you will begin to progress through the crises and the effects and the impacts of the crisis. The other thing, too, is that you won't miss something important, or less likely to miss something important That's if you're true. not kind of all over the place wondering what's coming next. If you're really in the present and you're really seeing what's happening, you have a better chance of, of not missing an important thing that you should pay attention to or do. One of the things that we, I just so I underlined this. Oh, oh, underlines are important. Yeah, and this one is, and this is, we're big on this, is that you don't want to be in denial about the possibilities that could happen. We're talking about people who obsess about the yes. negative possibilities. Yes. go down the rabbit hole. And that you, what you're talking about is losing sight of things. Mm -hmm. When you start obsessing, you begin to lose sight um, of what is going on, and also the possibilities that could be that you could get out of this that would be good. Mm -hmm. So we're not talking. We're just talking about certainly paying attention to the realities and the possibilities. Don't bury your head in the sand. Don't That's run right. away. Yep. We're big on that. Not to run away, no. but don't get so caught up in it that you're losing sight of the good possibilities and the the hope, and and anything good that can happen in your life under these circumstances. Believe me. There's good that can come out of everything. It's just a matter of time and having some hope. There's always choices. There's always alternatives. Maybe at times none of them are great, but they're always there. And if you can focus and just be right where you are, you have a better chance of picking the right one. That's point. right, yeah. Yeah.